Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video for today, and today we have some Michael Myers gameplay for you guys. I had a lot of fun playing him the other day, and I realized, hey, you know, it's been a little while since I played a decent amount of Mikey, so we're going to do another one today. This is a pretty fun build that I like running on him, so let's get straight into it. First up, we have Hex Ruin, so that I don't have to worry about pressuring generators as much, well, at least by kicking them. Infectious Fright combined with Monitor and Abuse, so I can see where people are when I down them in Tier 3, and, you know, slug and go for them. Hex and dying so I don't lose my ruin right away, and for our add-ons, we're running pretty good add-ons here. The J. Myers Memorial, along with the hair bow for faster stalking uh, up to tier 3, and then a longer tier 3 as a whole. So guys, let's get straight into the games here. Honestly, it could be way, way worse. You know, it could be fucking Red Forest or Ormond, so I don't complain about it. And like I've said in the past, I actually really don't mind this map, of Michael. It's an okay totem. Can I stalk it from here? Yes, thank you. Oh, and she went to the right where she has nowhere else to run. She's holding her sprint burst, that's why she's not running. I have expected her to hide, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, I don't know where she went, but not really something I gotta worry about. There's three people in this generator, I think. No, I'm not here. No, there's two people on it. I'm not here to worry about it. That person just got on one of my dull totems, so I'm actually gonna go interrupt that, because I don't really want to lose my dull totems just yet. So this one? Learning totem spawns actually helps you as a killer and a survivor, I've just now realized. Where the fuck? Are you here still? Jesus, I couldn't fucking hear her breathing at all. I'll get an ninja on her. They went straight back to that generator that I initially forced him off of. The scratch marks cut off here, so I didn't actually think she ran over to the left, but looks like she did. You're not very smart. It's, don't, by the way, guys, don't play pallets like that. You are playing a risky game for no reason. Now I'm in a fucking fantastic spot to so a really solid totem out there. I hope that one's a nine, honestly. I'm in a really, oh, that's AFK Crows. I'm in a really solid spot now where I have my tier three ready and uh, and somebody on the hook. I'm gonna go ahead and down this person with just two regular hits because I don't wanna. I don't wanna waste a tier three on him. That'd just be dumb. But I'll go ahead and hook him right away. I don't know why he's AFK, but I'll take it. I guess. I just heard a crow from someone else, like right behind me. But maybe it was a crow that I disturbed. Who knows? Well, someone's on a dull totem back there, so I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt that if I can. I don't think I make it there in time. Dull totems take, I think, about 16 seconds to break, so if he decides to stick on it, I won't be able to get here in time. Yeah, if he just finished breaking it. But I can go into my tier 3. Oh, really? Okay. Pretend I'm vaulting that. I'll sort of come over here, and he's going to loop around the back side. Where are you going? He's looping back to that pallet. It's a very strong pallet. No, he's not. He's just leaving it. Jesus Christ. This isn't really the... Man, I should have popped it. I shouldn't have popped it the way I did. My tier 3. Thankfully, this pallet's already down, so I don't have to worry about it just yet. He's going to try and make it to nowhere, I guess. Really? Okay, fuck you, game. That's really fucking annoying that he jumped in a locker though, because that means that I don't get, uh... Actually, no, I think I do get Infectious Fright from it still, but it's still annoying. Thankfully, uh, since I have my add-on that helps me out with my tier 3 uh, duration, I might be able to catch this person off guard. Jesus Christ, this person's literally going from generator to generator. This is a very strong pallet that I am happy to get out of the way right now. I'm actually going to drop chase right here and go back towards the hook. Maybe I can get some stock on somebody who's over there, or if they're not careful, I can actually get a tier 3 down, maybe? 
Yeah, that's perfectly fine by me. I'm gonna tear down here. Hello. I will wait. Somebody, I just heard a crow fly in for that. They might be going for that. I think I just heard someone else in the room as well. I am not going to. I, you realize I'm just gonna tear three up here, right? There we go. That was not an intelligent decision on her part to wait there. You gotta just commit for the unhook at that point. Alright, this guy is a little screwed. He doesn't have much in this area. I think I see old scratch marks here. This is not a safe pallet, especially not against Michael. Michael in tier 3, since he has a longer lunge. Can you just fucking vault? I played that poorly. I should have gone to the other side. And he had Lithe as well on top of it. Did he have Lithe? I don't know. I shouldn't I shouldn't have committed to the swing on that side. If I committed to the swing on the other side, I would have had it down on him. He didn't know where I was though, so I get a free hit on him here. Can you guys stop doing that? Jesus Christ. Infectious Fright tells me there's somebody back there, so I'm gonna go ahead and slug here and, and come over to this direction. If I don't find her uh, right away, if she's hiding basically, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, is this worth committing for? She got really damn far. Nice, and I see where everyone else is as well. I'll come over here, back towards where this person is. Because I know the other girl's far away from from the guy just down to the Jake, so I wanna I wanna come for him. Why did you vault that and go to the right? That's what I. Ah! Yeah, that was not the best rooting in, on his part. That's fine though. I'm in a really amazing spot right now. Three people on the ground, one person injured, so that they're not safe to unhook even when I'm tier two. It's amazing. Plus I have this guy behind me that I can come pick up because I'm fairly certain. Oh, he's dead. Did I hook him twice? I don't actually remember hooking him twice. I think he was. I think he got himself into struggle. I don't know where this guy is on the ground, if I'm honest. Oh, he picked himself up with a break wall. You can just camp that pat all you want. I'm just gonna build tier 3 off of you. Yeah, that was not the right. These guys don't know how to play against Michael at all. It's very fun. <laughs> I'll keep going, try and get my tier 3 just a little bit higher. There we go. It's perfectly 99 right now. Well, as close to perfect as I can have. Remember what I always say, how people with lie, they always just use their lies to use it? Yeah, that's what he just did. He didn't really, I mean, I guess he did get value out of it, but he didn't really need to lie there. That's fine, though. I got it down here with tier 3 regardless. Can't stop! Jesus Christ, you people are annoying! I'll go and interrupt this person in the generator, leave him on the ground. He disconnected, he's tired of getting slugged. She has rimpers, that's why she waited for so long before running. That is not how you play that. And this girl just screamed over here, where did you go? I wanted to see what she would do if I committed to that direction. Maybe she didn't see me. Yeah, she didn't see me double back, so I actually got a lot of distance gain on her here. Damn, really now? I didn't expect her to, to uh, greet that pallet, if I'm honest. That was really good on her part. And there we go, that's game over. Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> These guys didn't really know what they were doing against Michael, it feels like. It seems they probably just don't play against him too much. I feel like people have been playing less and less Michael every day, and I mean, you know, it makes it kind of sad. I really like Michael. He's a fun killer uh, to play against. Unless, of course, you know, somebody somebody feeds him all the way up to tier 3 and he tier 3 on you over and over again. But on this map, it is kind of difficult to, like, as Michael, it is difficult to get started. When it comes to getting stock and shit, so get, you can get out of your tier 2 as quick as possible to get to normal speed. But once you get out of tier 1, then you have a really solid time because there's so many line of sight blockers on this map. Whenever you're in your tier 2 with your uh, smaller tier rate, especially running monitor, so that I have an 8 meter tier rate instead of 16. It makes it so people really get caught off guard in situations where they don't want to be, and with the amount of line of sight blockers, if they lose you at all while you're in your tier 3, it is extremely deadly to them, as you guys saw with that Claudette right there at the end. Anyways, let's get into the next one, guys. 
See, this is <laughs> this is one of those maps that could have been a bad one. Although honestly, is if I can just find someone early, then it's this is a decent map. I don't really mind the loops on this map too much, plus it isn't too big. It's already a decent progress. Something really cool about Michael. Oh wait, I thought I heard progress in that generator. I'm stupid. They're over here though. Now, I'm fairly certain. Is that oh, that is for burst? I'm fairly certain that as Michael, you can. If you stalk two people at once, you actually end up losing uh, stock on both of them, but you don't actually gain the better efficiency out of it. Also, by the way, I forgot to say, I brought up Franklin's because this thing has a key. Um, I'm pretty sure you actually lose efficiency because you don't actually end up getting the stock from both of them, but you lose the stock for both of them, which kind of sucks, you know? What? I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna leave it in because that was fucking weird. Huh. <laughs> of course, after that weird ass fucking start to a game, we get what is the most difficult map to start off with is Michael. This map and Rotten Fields are both super fucking hard for Michael because he takes so long to get out of tier 1 on them. This map might honestly be, yeah, it's probably easier than uh, Rotten Fields because it's a little bit more open. You don't have to worry as much about the corn blocking your vision. I definitely saw that girl, but okay. Also, they have another key, so. Thank god I had, uh. Man, it's another Sprinter. So many Sprinters today. Thank god I have Franklin's on. Okay, I thought I heard someone so long that for a second. I was really confused. That's my ex undying, of course. Oh. I had a feeling she'd be camping the pallet based on how she played that. I'll pretend to break it, double back one way, and she's gonna keep running, right? Yep. Oh. There we go. I'll kick this pallet. And get a hook on her. Now, unfortunately, since I am running Franklin's, I don't have monitor. Uh, I decided to take monitor and abuse and abuse off uh, uh, for Franklin's this time around. And that means I'm not going to have my smaller tear radius in tier two or my bigger tear radius when I'm in chase. I didn't mean tier two when I'm out of chase. When I'm in chase is what I meant to say. So I'm just going to work with the default uh, tear radiuses that I get. Hello. Does he have purpose too? Holy shit, he does. Strimbrus is really... Is he lagging out too? What the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and get a snack on him here just so I can get the medkit out of his hand. I know there's someone else back here and I'm gonna come over here and try and put pressure on them instead then. Where are you? Hello? I'm gonna get as close as I can before I go for a stalk on her, because that way it'll buy me a bit more distance in the long run. And I should be hit. Damn, dude, my fucking dude is going quick this game. Someone's screaming the main building. I'll come over here, check to see what they're doing. If they're. If I think this chase is gonna go on for too long, I'll just go ahead and drop it. That's perfectly fine by me. This is a very strong pallet. The main building, just in general, has extremely good pallets. And I heard someone else over here. Yes, for Bruce as well. Interesting. Gave me the key though. I'll hook to this girl and immediately go back for the key they left on the ground. Ideally, they haven't picked her up yet, and I'll be able to come back here and interrupt them. I know more or less where she went down because I see the the toolbox through the floor. He tried to pick her up, and he had the wrong button bound. He tried to pick her up, but since she was still on top of the item, it actually fucking he picked up the item instead. I guarantee you that dude that he's playing on either Xbox or PS4. Or I don't actually I don't know how switch controls work. She immediately picked up her key, so guess what I'm gonna be going for? But yeah, and uh, since basically in that game like on those consoles on all consoles, yeah I don't see you hiding back there. Where is she? Where is she? Hello? 
You don't have sprint burst either. I'm gonna pick her up right away. I don't give a shit about the size of strike. I'm in a spot where I can definitely take it right now. <laughs> yeah, you brought a fucking key. You can go fuck yourself. But yeah, basically on those consoles, the healing action and the picking up an item action are bound to the same button. And if you don't rebind them, then you're gonna end up in a really rough position where you sometimes have stuff like that happen. Oh my god! I was lagging into him. Did what? He. I. Oh. What is this guy? What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is this, Steve? Oh my god! I don't really have many hooks nearby. Did he just disconnect? No, someone else disconnected. There was a girl in the hook. That key's gone, so she picked it back up. Let's go find her. I guess the girl in the hook disconnected because she was salty that nobody came to grab her. I don't blame her. It's real annoying when people don't want to help you out. I'm actually going to stay up here and just kind of look around on my sock until I find someone there in the main building. That's a Nancy. I don't really give a shit about the Nancy. Thank you for giving me all this chocolate. Wait! Oh shit, I was closer to tier 3 than I thought I was. This will tell me where the Meg is, though, and I'll be able to go for the Meg, because the Meg's the one I really want. She has the key in her hand right now. She's holding her sprint burst as well. Nice! Well done! <laughs> this is why people need keys, dude, because they're... <laughs> Because they have no fucking idea how to use pallets correctly. By the way, if you're not holding sprint when you use a pallet, you're gonna drop it on the exact same side that you're standing on. If you want to run through a pallet as you drop it, you need to be holding down sprint and holding forward to drop it. And also, don't, like... Don't don't bother trying to hold on to your sprint burst while you're vaulting something. Just hold down sprint if, you, if you're in a chase and go for the fast vault. Because you're you're just gonna end up in a situation like that where you just look silly. Where did Nancy go? I kinda want Nancy for my challenge. But yeah, like people I'm not really sure why they do it. But they'll just they just won't hold down sprint while they're trying to drop stuff in chase or like trying to vault stuff in chase and that's dumb. You're gonna look silly. You're just gonna make, get made fun of because because you uh, you just slow vault a window or sorry a pallet in front of a fucking tier three Michael. Where did this Nancy crawl off to? What the hell? All right, I guess I'm gonna cut till when I find her here, you guys. Oh, I think I just saw grass move. Did I? Nope, never mind. I think she's gonna find the hatch, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea where it is. I should have brought Deerstalker. Honestly, I'd have made this, uh, oh. Did I just hear you up here? Are you up here? I don't hear her anywhere. 
and I don't hear the hatch, she's just gonna fucking bleed out. Well, I guess she's gonna bleed out because I can't find her. I have no idea where she crawled off to. By the way, this is why I usually don't crawl when I'm one of the last people slugged left alive because it just it becomes boring for the killer and it's not really fun uh, to just go around looking for somebody on the ground for the entirety of the game. Why doesn't that count as killing my obsession? I'm so confused. Three fucking sprinters, dude. Jesus Christ. Leave me alone. Let me fucking down you. Uh, these were some really, really weird games. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.